Hey there, my name is Clark. I'm a published author, and I'm going to tell you why you have not finished your novel. Just to give you a little bit of background on myself, that I'm not just some stranger on the internet, but I am just a stranger on the internet, is that I have written and published two books through Amazon. These two. I'm at the point now where I feel like I know what constitutes building a novel. And I'm specifically talking about novel writing, not short stories. This could apply to novellas. This is my experience. Um, I have written and published these two books. However, I am currently working on my fifth novel since 2017. So I do feel like I'm at the point now where I know how to build these things up. Whether they're good or not, that's up to you. Number one, you don't make the time. This is the easiest thing to fix. You have to make the time to write. And this is difficult for most people because they either have a full-time or part-time job that takes up the majority of their time or they have a family. But in order to start really dedicating yourself to a novel, you need to make a designated time to write. So whether that is an hour in the morning or an hour at night, you tell the people around you, I am writing from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Please don't bother me. <laughs> Even if you don't get any writing done within that time period, just sit down in front of your computer, do something else, do research, whichever. You need to start making it a habit. And this is the basis for everything is just making it a habit, making it something that you go back to on a regular basis and then eventually your brain makes an association. This is what I do at this time. In my experience, I was a teacher, so it was a bit easier for me because I had a spare during the day. I had an hour spare and there was nothing to do on that spare. I taught English in Korea, so I taught classes from 6.50 in the morning to 10 in the morning and then I had an hour spare from 10 to 11 and then I taught again at lunchtime. So that hour spare from 10 to 11 is how I finished my first book. What also is gonna help there is, number two, setting small attainable goals. This not only applies for novels, you can apply this to your whole damn life because setting small attainable goals is really the key to everything. For some people, and if you look online, like I spend a lot of time on subreddits and on writing subreddits, you'll see that people can write four to 5,000 words a day. And to me, that's insane. Like a thousand words a day is good for me, but I write consistently. It depends on the amount of time that you have. But if you set small attainable goals of say 500 words a day, especially if you're going into this without ever having completed a novel, I do recommend just starting lower and working your way up. So once you know you can attain 500 words a day, then maybe you up your goal to 1,000 words a day. And there's some great word count tracker apps out there. NaNoWriMo is great. You don't have to be using it during NaNoWriMo. For those of you who don't know, NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month. NaNo, yes, National Novel Writing Month, which is technically in November, but their website is actually really good for word count tracking and like tracking your projects. Third thing, the third reason why you haven't finished your novel, and I think this is one of the most important things, this was the game changer for me, it's that you don't outline. <laughs> and I see this all the time on our writing, on Reddit, people are like, man, I just get 10,000 words in and then I can't find the motivation to keep going or I, I can't finish it, I can't get over that hump. And for me, the game changer for that was having an outline, knowing where your story is going. And this doesn't have to be something in depth. Like for me, it was just, okay, chapter one, here's one sentence of what happens. Chapter two, one sentence of what happens. And some people go way more in depth with this. They will really plot out exactly what is going to happen. Um, for me, that takes away a little bit of the creativity so um, I don't outline extensively, but I do have to have some type of an idea of where this plot and where these characters are going to be, or else how are you gonna write your conflicts? How are you gonna write your resolutions if you don't know where your characters are gonna be? 
With that said, no outline does work for a select few people, but when you are first getting started and still learning how to build the structure of a novel, outlining is an indispensable skill to learn how to do. And it doesn't need to be anything complicated. It's very low barrier to entry. Nothing like an afternoon coffee. Woo! Point number four, discipline over motivation. And again, this applies to all aspects of your life. <laughs> if you are not motivated to finish your novel, that is okay. If you don't have the motivation to continue on with this story or with these characters, that is okay. But you have to have some sense of discipline to finish a novel because not every aspect of it is going to be enjoyable. I will tell you this, that it's not all smooth sailing when you write a novel. I had so many points where I really don't want to write today or I really don't feel inspired at all to write anything or I know my writing's going to be crap, but you do it anyway because words is words. Word count is word count, and it still goes towards that first draft. You can fix it later. You can go back and change your sentences, change your words. You can edit as you go. You can edit afterwards, but you can't edit anything unless your words are on paper. Your words are in a Google Doc. Your words are in Microsoft Word, whichever. But discipline is so much more important than motivation. Discipline sustains you. Motivation does not. It keeps you going when nothing else will in that you've just committed to yourself. You have your time period. This is when I write. I have to put some words down on a paper right now. And I'm not going to give myself another option. And this is all mental. <laughs> also very much getting over those mental blocks of I don't feel inspired, I don't feel like an artist, or I don't have this artistic inspiration. You don't need that. Fifth thing, number five, I think it's number five, is creative blocks, writer's block. How do I get over my writer's block? So this is a tough one because I've heard so many different things in this. Some people don't even think that writer's block is real, um, that it's another thing that's just all in your head and it is all in your head in terms of writer's block but that doesn't mean it's not a real thing one thing you might want to determine if you're having writer's block where is it coming from so is this writer's block stemming from a problem with my plot is this writer's block stemming from i don't know these characters well enough to continue writing for them or maybe it's stemming from, I don't feel motivated. And we just talked about that. Fix your motivation with discipline. But if you have writer's block because of an issue with your plot, you may need to go back and reevaluate your outline. Rebuild. If you are still having writer's block and you can't get new words down, go back, reread and edit. This always works for me. This doesn't work for everybody. Some people suggest that you shouldn't edit your first draft at all, but I don't operate that way. For me, if I'm having writer's block and I'm having difficulty getting a chapter down, I will go back and I will read the previous chapter or the chapter before that, do a little bit of editing. It kind of helps remind me of who my characters are, where the plot is going, where it needs to go. It works for me. It might not work for you. Another thing would be doing some character testing. And we could kind of talk about this subject of like writer's block in a whole nother video, but putting your characters into different situations to kind of figure out who they are. So maybe take your character out of your novel, write them into a short story. How do they react to certain situations? Knowing your characters can really help you get through that writer's block. And number six, this is kind of one that is a little bit more of just a tip rather than advice. But for me, I love listening to movie soundtracks and OSTs. That really helps getting my brain working um, in terms of if I'm feeling stuck on something. I have a whole writing playlist 
on YouTube of OSTs that I like. Um, depending on the genre that I'm writing in, I will change up the OST. Um, but I'm a big fan of the Social Network soundtrack, The Revenant, Interstellar. There are some great OSTs out there. Hans Zimmer is amazing. And for me, I'm quite an auditory person. So listening to music really, really helps, um, really, really helps inspire me um, and helps me picture my scenes. You might be more of a visual person. So maybe you wanna break things up by watching a movie rather than listening to a soundtrack. It can really help get yourself out of that headspace of I have no ideas and or I have no idea how this is gonna go forward. Watch something else, listen to something else, see what other people have done. Use your resources, be resourceful. That's one of the most important things about being a writer is that you are resourceful either with Google or YouTube or whichever. That is my advice. Um, thank you very much for watching this. I would love to hear what you think in the comments down below. I would also love to hear what writing apps you guys use as I'd love to talk about that as well. I use Google Docs personally because it saves automatically, but I'd love to hear what you guys use and what you suggest. Have you paid for a writing processing software? Kind of curious. And my name is Clark. Um, I am a published author of two novels. You can get both of them on Amazon. The links are in the description below as well as um, link to my website if you're curious about me. Thank you so much for taking the time. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Please put them down below and please like and subscribe if you like this, if you want to see more like this. I don't know, maybe don't take advice from me. I'm wearing a sweatsuit. Who knows? Okay, bye.